Penelope told Andy that payback is a B word. So Andy was asking her, you know, what does that mean? And she was like, you're going to find out just like Gary. And I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. They've been playing on this whole time. Danny and Tony lay their cards on the table in public as Rich expresses his discontent with Sabrina's half-truths. Marie Willis puts Vanessa in her place and makes demands of Karen and Pam. That's the episode synopsis for Tyler Perry's Sister Season 8, Episode 6. The name of the episode will be Will to See and it airs November 20th, y'all. Okay, y'all, so based on the trailer, Andy is saying she don't understand what's happening. I said, you saying the wrong thing. Shouldn't be no talking. Should not be no talking. <laughs> but yeah, Andy is saying she don't understand what's happening. Penelope talk about, let's see if you understand this. So basically, they're doing a replay. They're doing a replay or whatever. Um, and that's when she slaps her. Penelope slaps Andy. Then Penelope is saying payback is a B word. So Andy asks her what she means by payback. And she was like, oh, you're going to find out just like Gary. And I was like, wait, wait, wait a minute. Because if y'all remember, like, under the trailer or whatever, I think it's on Instagram. Under the trailer, people were saying, you know, remember, they had released this, uh, was it an article? I don't know if it was an article or, look, like, character synopsis thing, uh, character breakdown. But it said that Penelope and Jordan wasn't a uh, sister and brother. They was husband and wife. So do y'all think that's what that's about? Do y'all think they've been setting them up this whole time? And what does she mean by payback? Like, I don't know. Like, look, I'm confused. On another clip, Andy is telling Penelope she's lost her mind. Penelope talking about some, um, she did, but she found it or whatever. And Jordan in the middle trying to break it up. I say, you in the middle of breaking it up. But you was just standing there on hush mode when she came in this lady house and slapped her. <laughs> slapped her taste out of her mouth or whatever. I say, that's, that's right, Andy. Get a big bone. Defend yourself. Defend yourself. Because what? What the freak they got going on? These people still at Karen Salon chanting and stuff. Miss Marie there, and she won't answer us. The lady talking about she won't reparations or whatever. Hayden want for Tima to go through Andy's files and find him discrepancies or whatever. I said, what that mean? I said, you want her to find errors or something? I said, you already, you're supposed to be in charge as of right now. you already doing the wrong thing. Danny tells Tony he volunteered away her nights and weekends for a career that she doesn't even want. Danny also tells Sabrina that in the history of our friendship, what made you think... What made you think that defending him was the right thing to do? Michael says, uh, what does he say? Nuggets. Nuggets. So he's talking for the first time. Okay, so the first thing. The first thing is the whole slap thing. A lot of people are saying that Andy deserved that she had it coming. My thing is Jordan. My thing is Jordan. At first, y'all know I did the review last night, and I was like, okay, why didn't he just tell her the real reason why, you know, she was trying to marry Gary or whatever. I thought that's what it was about. But then I saw the trailer, and she over here talking about payback and stuff, and I was like, wait a minute. I said, what payback? I said, what? I'm trying to figure out what they talking about. Like, are they really brother and sister, or are they married like they said? Are they married like they said? Jordan over there on Hush Mode again, because a part of the clip or whatever, when uh, Penelope and Andy talking, he's over here with his head down. Y'all know how they, ha they hang their head down when they guilty or something. But yeah, I said, last night, I said, she done walked up in there. <laughs> Andy always over here, like, look, somebody said they hope that slow woke up. And I've seen a lot of comments about how Fatima not there to protect. But yeah, I said, based on the trailer, it looked like Andy finally defended herself. But yeah, I said, uh-uh, Jordan, don't get involved now. You stood there. He stood there. She over here telling you. What Andy tell him? I think, let me see if I wrote it down. I think Andy was saying, telling him to tell Penelope the truth or whatever. And he was on hush mode. And I was like, wait a minute. I said, why would you not be honest and tell her the truth? But then they showed this dog on trailer. But the next thing is um, them chanting and stuff. People, I seen a comment that said they think Trey involved. They think Trey involved. I said, I don't know who involved, but it's clearly a setup. It's clearly a setup. I said, they should have told her, show her proof that she bought it or whatever. Show her proof that, you know, that's what did it to her edges and everything. But Miss Marie probably going to get her together. We'll see. But yeah, I seen a comment that said that Trey's involved. He got to be involved or whatever. The way he showed up. I said, well, technically, he always showed up. He was back in the day. I said, back in the day. <laughs> Last season, he would just pop it up and stuff. He always had boxes. Somebody pointed out on one episode, he brought some boxes, but he ended up taking the boxes with him. Hayden. Hayden over here. He letting his power go to his head already. I said, they need to go and wrap this up. Go and wrap this up because he working my last nerve. He working my last nerve. He's talking about something. He want uh, for Tim to get her head out the book. And find some discrepancies in Andy Fowles. I said, first of all, you letting this power go to your head already. And then he in La La Land. At no point did Robert say you was going to be in charge forever. <laughs> I said, nobody told you you was the boss boss. Nobody told you you was even going to be partner. <laughs> I said, that's the first thing. The second thing is, you too busy trying to get this lady fired. 
and prove that she's unfit. That you proving that you unfit. <laughs> you proving that you unfit. Then they had Danny, uh, Sabrina, Tony, and Rich. They was all sitting together or whatever, and they was going back and forth. They was going back and forth for whatever. Danny telling Tony he volunteered away her nights and weekends for a career that she doesn't even want. So I was like, I understand that. Like I said on the review last night, I see both sides. I see why she upset because you don't take away somebody's right to choose. You at least tell them and give them the option to choose what they want to do with their life. But then on the other side of things, it's not like he tried to cause her harm or something. And in that scene, they also show... Danny talked to Sabrina, asking her what made her think in the history of their friendship that defending him was the right thing to do. And I said, that's that whole situation where they be talking about all the time on social media about how you're not supposed to create your friend or um or a partner in front of nobody. And I said, oh, I think I think it depends. I think it depends. They ended up showing that Valerie lady that said Karen Salon again, and she was saying she going to get her money. They going to pay up or whatever. But do y'all think that's a setup? Do y'all think they're being set up? I feel like they're being set up. I just don't know who involved. I just don't know who involved. And the last thing they showed was Michael and um and Zach. Zach was talking to him or whatever, and he said nuggets. And he's like, did you just say nuggets? Say it again. And he said nuggets again. I said, yeah. I said, that's his first word, right? Not hating. I said, how hating know that, um, that Michael was mute? How he know? But he be in their business, so of course he know. Of course he know. But yeah, I said, I'm so sick of him. I said, I'm so sick of him. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel like ultimately he letting that power go to his head already. Nobody even told him. Nobody told you. you they told you as of right now you for team and boss and everything. But they didn't tell you you was partner or nothing like that. So what you talk about? What you talk about? Then Miss Marie over here talking about the doggone, um, basically implying that the reason he still has a job is because of her. And I was like, really? Really? But, yeah, what do y'all think about this season so far? Because I've been seeing a lot of complaints. A lot of complaints. But I feel like the first half of this season, it's surrounded around or gonna continue to be surrounded around who stabbed Gary. I about to I said it took it out again, but I had to delete that part. <laughs> I keep saying that, but he's still kicking. Even after the season, he's still kicking. <laughs> he's still kicking. Well yeah, a lot of people been complaining and saying they don't like it. And I said, Well, yeah, because it's been all about that. It's been all about that. Um we finally starting to see more or whatever. I said I definitely feel like it's been dragging. I think it's gonna be the mid season finale when Gary officially wakes up. And when he wake up I said, either we're going to see him wake up for the mid-season finale or they're going to show who did it for the mid-season finale. But we'll see. But, yeah, y'all let me know down below what y'all think of this trailer. Have y'all checked it out? If you haven't, it's on the sister's page on Instagram. But, yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, deuces. Have a great rest of the day and be safe. Thank you all for all the support thus far. If you're looking for more ways to further support, you can purchase clothing from the LV shop or encouraging messages or sign up for groups. All links are always in the description below. Thank you so much.